What's going on YouTube, man? Welcome back to another video. Now, before we jump into today's video, man, you should have know what you should have been did. Like, comment, and subscribe. We trying to save the world. We trying to, oh, we trying to save as many people as we possibly can. So make sure you hit that post notification bell, my guys. So you don't get that post nut clarity, my guys. Now, listen, man. So today's video, I haven't done a reaction in a little while. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I wanted to bring you guys another reaction from my my probably my favorite you know women nature content creator right now who is infinite colors you know i hope he comes across my channel because i really enjoy his perspective and he's a christian man as well so you know with all that being said today's video is called if a woman acts like this she is on the dl not hugely <laughs> i don't know what that means but we're gonna find out and one of my co-workers actually sent me this video so shout out to him, man. You know, so we go, we just going to jump right into the video today. Let's get it. All right, me start now, she says if a woman acts like this, she's on a DL. If a woman acts like this, she is on the down low. Tune in. If a woman flaunts Christianity or the Lord, she's a hoe. And this is what I mean. If you're dealing <laughs> with a woman. She said those Christian women be the freakiest. And mind you, y'all, um, my coworker that sent me this video, he said he did his background check on this girl speaking. And he said it wasn't ugly. It wasn't sweet. It wasn't nice. She's not innocent herself, you know, but she kind of let, let's hear what she got to say. But it says those Christian women be the freakiest. <laughs> hey, but those be the women who just be going to church. Those be the Delilah's in the churches. Those be the Jezebel's in the churches, man. Not all Christian women be like that. And she tries to show you that she lives this really devoted lifestyle, devoted to the Lord, to the Bible, and that she's very innocent and she doesn't do a lot of unholy things such as sex or engage in sexual activities. She's a hole in the low. The only Hey, I will say this though. She sound this girl sounds like you know, it sounds like it's coming from a place of hurt. You know, like did somebody hurt you? like did somebody hurt her feelings? You know what I'm saying? Did a Christian woman offend her? <laughs> the reason she's what is she talking about, chat? Trying to portray to you so hard that she doesn't involve in that is because she doesn't want you to see her in that light because she wants you to think this is a wifey, that she's wifey material and that she's un hasn't been touched or This is why you gotta have discernment, man. This is where discernment comes in. You know, she hasn't been doing none of those hoish activities in the past. A woman that flaunts this, she's on the down low, she's a hoe, and she's just really good at hiding her. I don't know where she's getting this information from, Chad. I don't know where she's pulling it out. She's pulling out her butt cheeks, and she obviously is probably stank. I've been around Christian women for a long time, and I always advocate for this on my channel as far as instead of trying to talk to these modern day women. Cause I spent a big portion of my life really honestly celibate and only being around Christian women and Christian guys and stuff like that. And WW men. I'm talking about like real devout Christians. And then I got to the point where I got frustrated with God for a certain time period. And I went out and I started a while and now I'm not going to lie. I started dating a whole bunch of women and stuff. And that's why I learned like, okay, how to date and how to talk to women and things like that before from age like 18 to like 25, I literally was like a monk, bro. A monk for Jesus though. And what I could say about Christian women, like true Christian women, I know to this day, I know 30 year old Christian women virgin that aren't ugly. They're they're out there. It just depends on it depends on what type of Nah, that's actually very true, man. That's why I say don't be let down, you know, or discouraged because you don't see any women that meets your 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 expectations or you know what I'm saying? Cause these women do exist, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, if, if y'all haven't seen my video where I said you will become every woman's desire, trust me, man. When you come across a God-fearing woman, you're going to know, you're going to experience something very different. It's not going to be like how 
you would meet a regular, typical, modern woman, man. I'm telling y'all. It's different, man. The vibe is unmatched, bro. Unmatched. Community you're plugged into. Because, yeah, you got some church women that's freaky and stuff, but she's just giving her experience. I know Christian women for real that are really, really Christian women. Word. So, whatever she's saying, is it's not a full... You know what I'm saying? These are our she rules hurt in a relationship. We're going to be going over these topics. She sounds she sounds pressed. She sounds pressed. All right, when it comes to location, I need your location. Not even just because I need to know where you are, but like for safety issues. When it comes to this, I need to know where you are at all given times. Ankle monitors, easy access. You know what I mean? What y'all think about like when you're being in a relationship, having your lo sharing your location at all times? Yeah, I think that's a bit like controlling or Next is passwords. Yes. I don't 100% usually need passwords. However, it's an issue if I ask for them and you don't give them to me. So we have each other's. Passwords. Need it. Give it to me. I need to know everything. Yeah. Friends of the opposite sex, I'm not gonna lie. No. Unless I know them. Because that's low-key crazy if you like making hella new female friends after we start dating. Like, that's crazy. Opposite <laughs> sex friendships. It's not happening. She can't look at a boy. She can't talk to a boy. That's yeah. crazy, chat. Posting me. I like being posted. Like a lot. Oh. Red flag. <laughs> she said, I like being posted like a lot. Nah, man. If you in a relationship with a girl, you know, excuse my background noise. But if you in a relationship with a girl and she's constantly pressuring you to post her on your uh, social media feed, bro. Red flag red flag because why do you care so much why do you want our relationship out in the open so much you know what i'm saying like don't you trust me enough to just know that it's only you like why do you want everybody to know what we got going on you know women like that i always try to avoid man i ain't gonna lie it comes with a lot of headache man posting she better post me every waking moment every time i breathe eat sleep i better be posted yeah how many days a bro, this guy look like a limp, bro, like. A <laughs> month? I feel like once a week or once every two weeks. Once dates. a week? King. You need to be treated like one. I need dates every day. She's paying. I'm not. Uh. Why the man look like Lecrae, if y'all even know who that is? If I could be transparent with y'all, location, you know what I'm saying? My wife and I, we do share a uh, location. Yeah, I, I know some of y'all going to judge me like, what? But yeah, me and my wife, we share location at times and stuff like that. I mean, all the time. And um, I rarely check it because I always, it, sometimes she'd be like, I call her and she'd be like, yo, why you ain't just checking my location? I'm like, I'd be like, where are you? Whatever the case is, and, you know, we need to go here, go there. Why you ain't just checking my, I feel like as a dude, if I check your location, it's just like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like a little, a little hoe. Like, I'm just going to be real with y'all. I feel like a little <laughs> simp nigga. So I just don't check her location unless it's like, she's not answering the phone like four or five times. And it's like a situation where I'm like scared that she might be in danger, but. I don't know. I just feel like a simp nigga when I, when I be checking her location. I don't know. This is my take on it, though. To have your girl's location, I mean, it. I don't know how I feel about the location, but your, your partner should always have your passwords and all of that. Y'all should never be hiding anything, especially in a marriage. Friends of the opposite sex. Uh, let me know how y'all feel about that one down below. <laughs> As long as I know that that person isn't, you know, someone who is going to make moves on my partner. As long as I know that, then we're good. You know what I'm saying? Posting me. I just told you all how I feel about posting. And the dates per month, man, I don't know. I let the Holy Spirit lead how many dates I take her on a month, man. <laughs> but that's just me, though. Let me know how y'all feel about this. As far as passwords and stuff like that. Yeah, she got my passwords. I got her passwords. Friends of opposite sex, that's a no go. That's a uh, no go. Posting me, uh, I'd rather her. I'd rather not post her. I'd rather her not post me. I just feel like the social media they don't really need to know. Like you yeah, know, what I'm saying exactly. like, why do we got to post that on social media? Like honestly, I don't even believe in women having social media personally. Mm. Like I just think it's yeah. And how many dates per month? We got to work on that because I don't be really dating my wife like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, next video. And personally, y'all, like, I feel like people on social media, all they do is judge anyway. You know, so if, if I post my girl on social media, other girls who low-key might be hating, gonna be judging our relationship, gonna be judging my girl. You know, and I don't want all of that 
negativity, all that. You know what I'm saying? Other people doing witchcraft with, against my relationship. Like, nah, I'd rather keep that on the down low, man. Nobody got to know but me, you, and God, man. That's it. That's it. Keep your relationship between you and God. Stand up! Realistically. Stand up. A lot of you guys fumble the bag heavy. Heavy. When you hit on a girl like me in public. Because you don't know what you're doing. So let me tell you the main things that you're doing wrong. The first thing you're doing wrong is you're asking me what's my name and you're asking me what's my background in that order without volunteering any prior information about yourself. There's nothing wrong with wanting to know my name or my background, but every guy wants to know my name and my background. Stand out from the crap. Tell me your name. Compliment me on one thing because saying you're beautiful is generic. Be creative, be specific. You have the most beautiful eyes. I think your skin is amazing. Your hair is... <laughs> this girl sounds very high maintenance, man. She sounds very high maintenance. Like, what? It, what is she actually talking about? Like, what? What is she actually talking about? Mind you, off rip, she said when you approach a girl Gorgeous. like me. I love your outfit. Okay? Put in some effort into what you actually want to say to me. Because I hear a lot of compliments. I'm not afraid to admit it. Okay? And then ask me for my name. Now I'm more open to you because you volunteered information about yourself. You complimented me. And you asked me a question. So I'm going to respond. The second thing you guys do that pisses me off is you ask for my Snapchat. Snapchat? It's 20. Oh, who who's still doing that? Who's still doing that? Man, I've been logged out of Snapchat for the longest, man. I don't I don't bro, Snapchat is probably the last social media platform I would go on nowadays, man. Like if you still on Snapchat, somebody need to take your phone away from you, man. Like why who why are you still on Snapchat? <laughs> Why are you still on Snapchat as a 25 year old man? <laughs> you should, you should, your phone should be revoked at that point. Cause ain't no way. Me <laughs> 22. Who's using Snapchat? I don't think I've sent to Snapchat in like a year T to anyone other than my sisters. That's literally the only reason why I have Snapchat is to keep up with those weirdos that I'm unfortunately related to. Hi, if you're watching my TikTok. Love you guys. Um, the third thing you guys do that drives me absolutely insane is being too close. Give me space. I might have just had lunch, and I don't <laughs> want my garlic breath to be in the same vicinity as your garlic breath because then it's too much garlic wow. breath. And I know you have garlic breath because y'all men never brush your teeth. <laughs> or like you do like once a day before bed or something or wow, like in the babe. morning i don't know wow but please hey she she coming for y'all <laughs> she coming for y'all head tops man she is she's is unleashing she is unloading the wrath man give me space Crazy. like a foot at least okay that's it i think if i think of any more things i'm gonna make another video but yeah, stop being annoying. You have one chance. If I say I'm not interested, leave me alone. That's unfortunate for you, but I'm not interested. Don't listen to her. Listen to me. Take it from somebody who failed many times and succeeded many times, but failed way more times when it came to what she's talking about. I've tried everything she said, saying nice things, saying different things, saying what all that type of bull crap. This is why I don't like listening to women when it comes to giving advice on how to holler at women and how to talk to women. The only way you're going to learn how to talk to women primarily is to just go do it. But the overall fact that, that people must understand about talking to women and talking to women you got interested in is if she is not genuinely interested in you and doesn't initially like you, it don't matter what you say. I talked to many baddies, I talked to many mediocres, and it don't matter if they bad or mediocre, if they like you, they like you. It don't matter it don't matter how they look. It just matter what they how they feel like you what you look like to them. Doesn't happen often, but I've had baddies flirt with me when I'm looking bummy. When I'm looking like I'm talking about looking bummy. And I've had baddies reject me when I'm fly as can be. Not saying don't put forth effort. What I'm saying is at the end of the day, everybody it's relative. 
Everybody got that type. Either they like you or they don't, all right? And when they give you them choose signals, if they give you those signals, those cues, like the little flicking of the hair like that, or they looking at you a lot, then maybe. Hey, I don't know why, but I've never really like, I mean, sometimes I have, but it's very rare that a girl would send me choosing signals. I ain't gonna lie, man. It's very rare. Like I never, unless I never really notice it, but it's very rare, man. Like I feel like a lot of girls nowadays, they be scared, bro. Like they be scared just like how most men be scared but i feel like women be scared too like all this flicking of the hair and looking at you stealing glances like that's so that's so like generic like typing how, how on google how how to know a girl likes me <laughs> it's gonna always say she's gonna flick her hair she's gonna steal glances at you she's gonna get close to you like what girl in real life is actually doing that though like, let's be real. Wait, what girl is really doing that? <laughs> they not really doing that, bro. Like, they not. Maybe that's a cue that maybe she might be interested. All that other complicated stuff, don't even try to, don't listen to that, bro. It don't work. My advice works. Even more than mine, alpha male strategy advice works. I think even MTR's advice works. Kevin Samuels' advice works. Yeah, I'm saying? Trust me, I've been rejected many times. I've done all the things she's talking about. It don't work. It don't what work. works is just either she likes you. Confidence helps too, but either she like you or she don't, bro. Just always make sure you present the best part of yourself, like being the best that you can be because that increases your chances, increases your chance. I like that he said having a relationship with Jesus, dressing nice, working out, working on having a great character. I'm Like realistically, brothers, like realistically, realistically, sometimes this don't even work. <laughs> Like realistically speaking, sometimes this don't even work, man. Like sometimes it's it's real you just got to leave certain things up to God, man. Like you know, sometimes rejection is really God's protection. Now, if a girl don't like you, that's okay. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. That doesn't mean anything is wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's not meant for everybody to like you. It's not meant for everybody to like you. Not every woman you come across is gonna be like oh my god he's so attractive he's so good looking not every woman is gonna be like that you know it's not actually meant for everybody to like you man so once you understand that once you are able to store that in your brain you're gonna be able to accept rejection more easily you know you're not gonna take it to heart because you're not gonna understand like okay you know, rejection sometimes it is God's protection. And also not everybody's going to find me attractive. And that's also OK, because somewhere out there, someone else will. Simple. But that was the end of the video, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys took something valuable from today's video. If so, make sure to drop a like. Leave a comment down below on how you felt about today's video, man. Let me know anything that you might be curious about or let me know anything that you might want to comment down below man comment it all down below share this video with a friend because they most definitely will need it subscribe if you're not already subscribed i'll catch you in the next one and i'm out